Hey everyone, thank you for tuning for the latest content of Cyprus. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the serial number in Odoo 17 Inventory Management. A serial number is a unique identifier that is used to track the life cycle of a product. This means we can just track the product movement which are entering into a warehouse and moving out of a warehouse or from the inventory. A serial number must be distinct and can be only used for one product. A serial number allows to track the history of a product that includes information such as the warranty, manufacturing date, repair or replacement. And this can be also used for high valued products such as medical equipment or electronic items and many more products. We can manage the serial number in two ways in Odoo 70. We can either manually manage the serial number or we can also automatically manage the serial number upon receiving of the product into the inventory. So let's check how can we manage the serial number in Odoo 17 inventory module. For the serial number, let's head into the inventory module. Under the configuration settings, we need to enable the lot and serial number. So here we can find a section called traceability where we can manage the load and serial numbers. Thus get a full traceability from the product movement from the vendor to the customer or customer to vendor. Now, as we have just enabled the load and serial number, we can just manage the load and serial number directly from uh, the product menu where you can find the load or serial numbers over here. So currently, you can see all the generated load number and serial number under the Odoo database. Now, we can also manage the serial number for a particular product. So let's move on to the product uh, menu. So choose the products where you can find different products such as pen, pencil and all. Now let's see how can we just designate uh, the serial number for the products. So we know serial number are the unique identification that is given for a particular product and each uh, serial number will be distinct and that can be only used for one product. We can also manage the serial number uh, for products under the operations. So as you just move on to the configuration menu, you would be able to find the operation type. So here you can see that there are different operation types such as the receipts, delivery orders, repair, internal transfers. So we need to just manage the uh, serial numbers on different operations such as the uh, receipts and delivery orders. So as you just choose the operation type that is receipt, here you can see that upon the reception of the item or upon the uh, entering of the item into the warehouse, we need to create uh, the new serial numbers but we don't need to use the existing one so we can just enable the uh, create new so that we can just create new serial numbers and now let's consider the other operation type which is delivery orders and here you can see that we have only enabled the serial number that is to use the existing one so that we won't be using uh, or creating a new serial number while delivering the item to the customer now let's uh, move on to the products and let's consider the product here we can just consider the product which is pen where you can see that uh, this don't have any uh, serial number so to manage for the serial number we also need to ensure that under the inventory tab we have enabled the tracking based on unique serial number so uh, once you have just done with that you can see the uh, changes uh, in the product form and let's move on to the more button where you can see that the load or serial number now we can just manage the serial number for this product so click on new button where you can just designate uh, the serial number so I'm going to just give the serial number for the product pen where you can also provide the uh, internal reference for this pen so we can uh, see we have just created a serial number over here now let's see how can we manage uh, a serial number while receiving the item into our warehouse. So let's move on to the purchase module and here we can just create a new uh, quotation where you can choose your customer, I mean a uh, vendor that is Audi Peterson and you can just choose the product which is pen and here we want 15 quantity of pen and uh, you can see all other details such as the unit price everything will be automatically configured by Odoo. Now let's confirm the order and we know upon the reception of the item only we can just designate the um yeah um I mean uh, the serial number. So let's click on receive product and here you can see uh, we can just uh, designate uh, the serial number. So for that you can just click on generate serial number where you can see that you can just provide the serial number 
uh, first number. Uh, so I'm just going to give it as S uh, P double zero, and we need to just generate fifteen serial numbers all together. And you you can just click on generate so that here you can see we have just uh, created uh, different serial numbers, and we know serial number will be unique and that can be only used for a particular product. Now we can just save this, and you can see um, we have just created a new serial numbers and now let's click on validate button so that we can just uh, receive the item into the stock with different serial number. Now let's see what happens when we just try to deliver the item into the stock. Um, so uh, let's move on to the sales module and in the sales module here you can see that when you just try to uh, deliver the item into to the customer here you can use the existing serial number, but you cannot use uh, or create a new serial number. So now let's confirm the order and later on, we can just deliver the item to the customer. So upon the delivery of the item only, we can just designate uh, the serial number. So here you can see that uh, an, a serial number that is used uh, by Odoo, that is the existing serial number is used. Now let's uh, try to create a new serial number. So when you just try to create a new serial number, you will get a restriction wizard over there because uh, we cannot create a new um, serial number. So here I'll be creating a new serial number. So as you just try to create a new serial number, you, can, you will get an option to create a new serial number, but you will get a proper message that like, the invalid operation that you are not allowed to create a serial number with the operation type because we have just uh, enabled only use existing serial number in the delivery operations. So if you want to just manage with a new uh, creation of the serial number, we have to first change it under the operation type. Then only we can just create a new serial number for the delivery operation. So for the time being, we don't want that. And now let's discard all the operations and discard this. And let's validate the process and we can just end with the delivery of the item to the customer. And you can also get the traceability like the product movement with the load number and the product now has just moved from the stock to the customer side. By using of serial number, you can just gain more control on the inventory movement of the item. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage the serial number in order to empty inventory management. And if you want auto customization or auto tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cyprosis. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.